Are you a frequent Zoom user and you want to make sure you have like the latest gadgets and features in Zoom and yet it seems like other people are ahead of you? Well, it could be because you're forgetting to update your Zoom. And this is something that is super important and a little bit of my gripe with Zoom is they don't automatically do this for you. So I am going to show you how in your software that you can check for updates for Zoom to make sure you're on the cutting edge of all of their latest features. Before we get into it, I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer, and I do want to remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I like to do videos about Zoom, event production, hybrid events, you name it, kind of anything event related, and a little bit of running your own business. If you also love more free content, I am the co-host of the Better Events podcast. It is a podcast I do with fellow event pro Mary Davidson. We drop new episodes every Wednesday and we do interviews uh, with other event pros, we share our own event knowledge, everything from like building run of shows to how to get good cl new clients, how to write a great event proposal, what to do for your Instagram marketing, you name it, there's an episode about it. Go listen to it wherever you listen to podcasts. So if you have watched a couple of my videos before, I'm going to confess something. I made a video about this probably a year or two ago, a year ago, and I think I must have messed up the editing because I didn't actually show you my screen. So we're going to take Take two here on uh, showing you how to check for updates in Zoom. So here I am in my Zoom window. This is the Zoom program. And just to clarify for you guys, I am a Mac user. So the functionality and everything you're seeing is because I am using a Mac. If you're using a PC, I believe your controls might be at the bottom. They're in a different place. Leave a question in the comments if you really can't figure out where it is. But I always say to check for updates, my favorite place to go is if you go to the upper left-hand corner right now in my Apple program where it says zoom.us, Click that drop down, you'll see about preferences and then the magical check for updates. So you're gonna click that check for updates. It's gonna run an auto check of, oh, what updates do you have? So here's where you can actually like scroll through and see all the amazing updates that they have done on this latest version. You can see I'm only one version out of date. There's a 5.12.2 and this is a 5.12.3. Not every update I'll tell you is incredibly important, but there are some big updates that really do matter. So it's just good to kind of, I like do this monthly if you're someone who uses Zoom a lot. So anyway, just hit install. It will require your Zoom to close and go away for you to install updates. So you cannot do this like while you're in a meeting um, or you can, I've done it in a meeting before by accident and it will make you leave, leave that meeting and like come back. For me, that took about 15 seconds. So let's go back to the program so you can kind of see what they have here. But um, yeah, my Zoom has been updated. So now at any time I could go to up to my window at the top, again, check for updates and you will see it says you are up to date. Woo! Um, Zoom does have a lovely little thing here where you can click the release notes and it will take you here to see all of the upcoming release features. Look at there, if you're someone who speaks Dutch, there's Dutch language support. Um, they now have a preview of what you are sharing your screen with, which I think is such a nice feature for folks. And maybe we'll cut down on some of the People saying, oh, are you seeing my screen? Um, but many, many updates. And so this is one thing that I always am constantly checking for. So that is how to check for it on a Mac on a desktop. Now here's the caveat. That was on one device. I also have Zoom on my phone, on my tablet. I have it on another laptop. And unfortunately, Zoom does not know when I've updated on like this one device, I've just updated this one device. It does not automatically update on all of my devices. So if you're trying to do this for mobile or maybe you're um, on a tablet like an iPad or something, you actually need to go to the app store. It's not just in the app in Zoom, so a little confusing, but you want to go and you'll make sure that there is an update button. You'll hit update and then that should update the app on that physical device that you're using. So I am just updating this just on my phone. Uh, you can see, and I'll show you here, I scrolled through, you can't find that update button inside the Zoom app. So again, you need to go to your app store. I have an iPhone, so I went to the Apple app store, and then that should be the latest version of Zoom. You can check what version of Zoom you have by going to the three dots of more, clicking the three dots, then going to the about, and then you can see what version you have. So I just downloaded for my mobile, 5.12. And that's how you can actually check for updates. Again, I suggest you do this on a monthly basis. A lot of times they come out with new updates that really can impact how you can produce events. Or if you're using them for meetings a lot, some really cool features that they come out with for meetings and webinar. I know a new one that is coming out soon. I don't think it's out yet because I haven't gotten to use it yet, is that they will have an embeddable kind of like American Sign Language ASL interpretation feature, which is great if you are focusing on accessibility at your upcoming meetings 
or events or webinars. So be sure to update for that. But as always, I'm Logan Clements. Thanks so much for listening. And this has been another installment of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to event planning, running your own business, Zoom, and much, much more. I'll see you again next week. Bye.